taught me this. Digits make numbers like letters make words. To make a number, you have a bunch of digits to pick from. Just like with a word, you have a bunch of letters to pick from. So in order for me to make the number 1,967, I had to choose those digits. Just like the word hoopla, I had to choose those letters. This is important to know because just like you choose letters to make a word, you choose digits to make a number and each digit has a value and it means something when you put them all together. Understanding place value is easy. Take a look at below, it's 1,984. The one is in the thousands, the nine is in the hundreds, the eight is in the tens, and the four is in the ones. So when we look at place value, the one is 1,000, the nine is 900, the eight is 80, and the four is four. Creating a place value chart and using it is a great strategy when you're learning place value. So now let's pause the video, go get your paper and pencil, and we'll work some problems together. Hey friends, we're going to practice some math now. Now, if you want to pause the video at any time to see if you can do it by yourself and then press play again, that's a great idea because it just tells yourself that you're trying really hard. Okay? So let's first look at the number 23. I know that I need to place these two digits on the place value chart that I made. I made a tens and a ones like this. So the two is in the tens, so I'm going to put that digit in the tens. The three is in the ones, I'm going to place that digit in the ones. Now the value of the number is how much is it worth? So I know that this 2 is not really a 2. It's really 20. So there's 2 in the tens place. 20. And I know that there's 3 ones. So this is just 3. The value of the 3 is 3. This number would look like this if I were to draw it out. 10, 20, 1, 2, 3. So see how there's 2 tens? That makes 20, and three ones makes three. Hmm. Let's try 45. Make your chart, your place value chart. The number is 45, and we're going to place these two digits inside the place value chart. That four is in the tens place, so I place it on the chart. And that five is in the ones place. I place it on the chart. Now, I know that this 4 is not really 4. The value of the 4 is really 40 because it's 4 tens, 10, 20, 30, 40. And the 5 is in the 1's place, yeah, so it's 5. Because 45 looks like this, 10, 20, 30, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 10, 20, 30, 40. Yep, I'm right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yep, I'm right. Now let's do 98. Sometimes you can just write the number this way. It'd be kind of tricky. The 8 is in the 1's place, and the 9 is in the 10's place. I only suggest doing this one once you can do 10 problems and get eight of them right. If you can do 10 problems and get eight of them right, then you should start trying this one. Okay? But you gotta, you gotta be honest with yourself. So that nine is not really a nine. We know that it's really 90. The eight, well, it's in the ones place, so it's eight. The value of the nine is 90 and the value of the 8 is 8. Now let's try the three-digit the three numbers. So I have my chart, hundreds, tens, and ones. I'm going to place the digits on the place value chart. So the 3 is in the hundreds, the 4 is in the tens, and the 7 is in the ones. 
Now, I know the value of that 3 is not 3. It's in the hundreds place. That means that there are three, of, three hundreds. 1, 2, 3. So it's that value of that 3 is 300. There are four tens. This 4 is not, four, is, the value is not 4. It's four tens. 10, 20, 30, 40. Yep, the value of the 4 is 40. And the 7 is in the 1's place. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So the value is 7 because it's in the 1's place. So the value of the 3 is 300. The value of 4 is 40. And the value of the 7 is 7. Pretty cool. Let's try another one. 508. I put a 0 in there on purpose. So make your chart, hundreds, tens, ones. The five is in the hundreds, the zero is in the tens, and the eight is in the ones. You want to make sure you keep that zero where it's supposed to be so you don't accidentally write the number as 58. Because guaranteed, the guy in Richmond who makes the test, he's going to give you 58 as an answer choice. You don't want to do that. So you want to place it on the chart the right way. So we know that this is five hundreds. So five hundreds is five hundred. Five hundreds. One, two, three, four, five. One hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred, five hundred. Yep. Now we don't have any tens, so it's worth zero. So at so put the zero there. Hold the spot. And there's eight ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yep, it's worth 8. So the value of the 5 is 500. The value of the 0 is 0. The value of the 8 is 8. Be very patient with yourself when you're learning that, okay? Be very, very patient. Now let's try this guy. Let's see. There's another way I can do it. Hundreds. Tens and ones. Six hundred ninety three. The six is worth six hundred, the nine is worth ninety, and the three is worth three. Now, again, if you can do ten problems and get eight of them correct, then you can try this one. But you got to be honest. You gotta be honest. Do it this way until you can get eight out of 10 right. Okay? Now let's try four digit numbers. So I made my chart, thousands, hundreds, tens, and ones. So I'm gonna place the digits on the chart. The one is in the thousands, the four is in the hundreds, the three is in the tens, and the two is in the ones. This comma, means the word thousand. If you think of what you're saying, you're saying 1,432. Isn't that cool? So 1,000, I make my thousands like this. So they look funny. So that's 1,000. And there's four hundreds. One, two, three, four, 100, 200, 300, 400. And there's what? Three tens? 10, 20, 30. And two ones. One, two. Yep. So that one is not worth one. It's worth 1,000. The four is not worth four. It's worth 400. The three is in the tens place, it's worth 30, and the two is in the ones place, it's just two. Let's try this number. We've got thousands, hundreds, tens, and ones. Give yourself some space when you're making this. Now place the digits on the place value chart. Three is in the thousands, five is in the hundreds, 7 is in the 10s, and 9 is in the 1s. 
Now remember that this comma means the word thousand. Three thousand five hundred seventy nine. Okay, so the three is 3,000 plus the five is in the hundreds, so there's five hundreds. The seven is in the tens, so there's seven tens, that makes it 70. And the nine is in the ones place, makes it nine. So this is the value of this three is not three, it's 3,000. The value of the five is 500. The value of the seven is 70. And the value of the nine is just nine. Now here's another way to do it. Thousands, hundreds, tens, and ones. The seven, seven, thousand. The nine is in the hundreds, nine, hundred. There's no tens. Make the zeros there. And there's one in the ones. The value of the seven is 7,000. The value of the nine is 900. The value of the zero is zero, and the value of the one is one. That's thousands, hundreds, tens, and ones. Again, see this guy right here? Only when you can get 8 out of 10 right can you try that one. Trust me, it takes a while to do it. But if you practice and practice, it will come easier and easier to you. Okay? So I think we had a really good day. All right? Come visit me again. Bye, guys. I've included a game for you to play. You can ask a teacher or a parent to print it out for you and have a good time. Have fun. Mm -hmm.